welcome back my gardening friends well this is the first time I've grown uh, sets uh, in cell trays and uh, they've done uh, remarkably well uh, it's getting a little bit cool now uh, so they've come out of the warm grow room and uh, I'm going to get uh, get them hardened off a little bit in the cold frame I ain't got a clue where I'm going to put them all though. Compulsive buying again. But hopefully we'll find room. And I've even bought uh, a bag of Charlotte potatoes that were, were supposed to be five pounds and uh, they're only a pound. Just started to get chitted a little bit too much so the company's uh, sold them uh, early. But I couldn't resist it so I've got a whole bag of Charlottes to find somewhere as well. So, the last time we had a look at the uh, polytunnel, we hadn't got the top bit on. This was suspended in the air. That was really good because I was able to move the actual whole frame, which is uh, th six meters by three meters, and just move it about by myself. Um, so we've got the top runners on. Uh, we've got the EnviroMesh on. Now, if you buy any EnviroMesh, loose and have some cut don't fold it roll it um, I've got all sorts of creases in this and no matter how I tried I could not pull it straight not too fussy but lesson learned and I've probably folded the other one up but at uh, the other uh, part for the other side uh, with these wooden strips I haven't gone right to the top because I've created a lip underneath so the polycarbonate on the other side which you'll see shortly uh, is fastened tight to it and uh, we've not bothered with any angles I've just kept everything uh, square um, not quite sure if you can see but up at the next bar was where the water guttering rainwater guttering was sat I looked at it and thought it's gonna cost a little bit more in wood so we're gonna keep it to uh, this level and uh, not sure if you can see at the other end but where the actual water barrels are so these are i got a lip all the way around like i said just so that the polycarbonate doesn't uh, it's got something to sit on and we'll go around the other side now and show you the what i've done uh, on the other side with these sliding windows Sorry for keep uh, walking in, uh, in front of you. I don't edit, so it's all pause uh, and record. So these triangular pieces stop it from moving that way. The only issue I've got at the moment is uh, the movement that way. I'm hoping to put some structures in into the roof so that doesn't happen. We're fine this way, but of course the westerly wind or the easterly wind, which is very rare, uh, might just start loosening things so I've got that to sort out now you know I like to tell you what I'm up to before I start something because people come up with little ideas that I think oh I could try that and uh, Alan from Alan's allotment he will comment I'll pin his comment pop and have a look at his channel said why don't you do sliding windows because I was thinking partition it off open shut don't forget we've got plants here so Basically, all I've done is uh, a slidey windows. You might be able to see the creases there, but I'll uh, bring you a, a, a closer look at those. And all I've done is put these bits of timber in for them to, to run along, and these bits of timber didn't cost anything. You might be able to see the lip there. These bits of wood are tied up against it, so that this piece, whether you can see it or not, this piece is fastened to uh, the wood down there, so that's that's completely solid. And then this one just runs along. And uh, I haven't squared these up. These are how it was cut by the builders when they dumped them in the skips. And I didn't want to cut them anymore because of the amount of little plastic filings that end up on the floor. I've got enough to clear up as it is. So uh, we've left that at that. I'll take you off the tripod and show you a little bit closer. So you may be able to see there the uh, the lip and uh, we've uh, screwed that with a washer and I've 
let it sink into the plastic slightly so that it doesn't um, uh, protrude so it stops that other one so we've got that fastened uh, in uh, six places and all I've done with these is again is a screw through onto a piece of wood and uh, it does uh, move uh, reasonably well and again all these bits of wood that I've been collecting over the years and I mean years because they're all the same size have come in really useful sometimes it was a little bit tight mainly because I put this wood too close to it so I've adjusted it so that it moves reasonably easy so if I need to get something even if it's a piece of string so that I can pull it when this is full of plants but my intentions are to have these shut over the winter and open all summer we don't mind uh, a little bit of ventilation uh, I've got se several or loads of pegs one two three four five six seven eight nine probably ten pegs holding um, this structure down I don't think it's going to go anywhere and uh, hopefully that's that's sorted and if you're new to my channel as he gets down on our lands in it the uh, wood is held up off the concrete road curbs by those screws so that it doesn't draw any moisture from there because the wood chips will be almost up to the top of the curbs uh, eventually we've seen these ends we created these before so basically we had the big panels i cut the bits off and the bits up there were exactly the right size well it's the one at the back these ones were the, the big triangular pieces and we've got bits down here so we've re reused most of it a couple of more pegs there still not going to cut that out because when the wood chips are up to the top of there i'm not going to be coming in here with the barrow wheelbarrow because i i can handball everything in there's no need um, these barrels here were replicated there uh, I've got rid of all these um, my fellow allotmenteers on this site have taken them probably to use them for carrots or parsnips etc but the uh, soil in these oh here we go look, look at an automatic lid worms have been busy very busy and uh, we, we put some manure on the top and you can see there hopefully there's a few worms still getting busy so we'll stir that up and uh, of course with manure you get a little bit of grass and uh, a few seeds uh, I can put up with that I'm hoping that these won't be in the way to replicate this on this side and uh, that'll be the bottom part done and uh, all the holes that were already already in this frame have now got uh, screws in we've uh, got extra long um, coach bolts locking nut just an ordinary nut and what we've done is uh, just a little reset hole so that uh, when the in, inner plastic sits on there it uh, it doesn't rub that and then I've wound that nut back until it pulls that one through uh, so basically what will happen now we'll have some rebar in there the plastic pipe will come up on this side all the way around and uh, the outer plastic will be here the inner plastic will be there and it'll probably cook me and I've got the option then of creating little windows which will either be sliding or opening but there's no reason why I can't use sliders again because I'm a devil for walking along and running into them walking into them damaging them so thank you to Alan at Alan's allotment for that slidey window idea with all that extra polycarbonate I got it has worked really well and I mean really well chuffed a bit 
So one of the next jobs will be to measure the polycarbonate to get another window there. Will it be a slidey window or will it be OP window? We'll, uh, we'll find out eventually, but I need to get all these bits of wood in so that I can attach all these two at angles because the outer plastic will need something to fasten to. So I've got that to sort out. We've put these bits in. I've got to cut those to fit inside there. Decide what I'm doing with the doors. Again, I shall be seeing what polycarbonate I've got left. But this, I was gonna raise it one meter high. I saw how high it was gonna be and thought, no, I'll drop it down to 700. So I did it 700. But I forgot the wood had got to go on the top, so we ended up at 800. But those polycarbonate sheets only just fit in, pushed in. And the other ones that I've got is that little gap. So I don't know it, whether I knew or <laughs> a second sense, but that saved me a lot of cutting that way. So uh, again, happy as Larry. So these are the two pieces that we've got left for the solid bits. These two bits are for the slidey doors, windows even. <laughs> and uh, I've got all this left. Plus these two bits here, they were one full length, but obviously I had to get my saw out and it's got a, a brown shading on it so i'm thinking about putting that uh, on this side that's south so the sun comes behind me right round and it's uh, up there at the minute so i think the shading bit will be ideal uh, just there we've got one more angly bit mandamu and then we've got another couple of bits uh, Ah, one bit. He says, oh, there we go, another two bits. So we've got three bits. I've just got to sit and think. Oh, will I be lucky enough to find some more polycarbonate? One of my next jobs is to uh, stitch the three metre wide debris net in to create six metre to cover this. This is not ideal for the cabbages, the giant cabbages. Um, I've got to get it done. I'm hoping to do that uh, next weekend. So you might see that um, uh, a week on Wednesday, but I, I must get that done. Get all these rolled up. The coffee grounds are drying out slowly, but it keeps getting rained and snowed on. Rhubarb's looking great. Another job, get the wildflower, flower seeds, sewed on here Mr Robin at the top of his pole get those sorted get some of these uh, wildflowers uh, old seeds uh, pulled out tidied up and I'll just use the claw to s turn it a little bit get it wet through get that sorted this is still in the same state after the high winds I need to get all these uh, containers filled get the wicks put in them and get the uh, wick gutter in uh, up and running. I need to put this in the uh, pond on plot three, something else that uh, has broken at home. So Mrs. K says, I'm throwing it out. No, you're not. So this is where I mix all my different uh, mixes together. So we've got found compost, uh, two year old leaf mold that didn't go through the trommel very well. Um, three-year-old wood chips and anything else we can find. Comfrey's growing really well. The white currants that we grew from seed are doing okay. That one's going to a friend so I've buried it so it doesn't dry out too quickly. I'll be able to get rid of these. Now she can travel to me and uh, pick these up maybe next month. So we've got uh, three white currants planted here. Uh, the uh, Bocking 14 Comfrey the bigger roots of uh, out at the top and hopefully some of the smaller ones uh, will uh, share their phases uh, uh, during the summer. I've finally got round to pinching the wife's succulents 
now it's these and uh, hopefully I'll be able to uh, get this water running again and uh, we've got to tidy the uh, pond up and get some of that uh, pond weed out so we did digress slightly there while we was on plot one that's the wife's plot but the uh, guttering will be on here it'll come down I thought yeah we'll drop it into there but when we've got all the pipes uh, connecting the barrels together like these the water goes into that one and then it's uh, gravity fed uh, all the way along and we managed to get these barrels in uh, reasonably uh, level so hopefully with my commentator's eye I've got these in uh, reasonably level so when we do the same uh, it'll flow but if I put the pipe into there I'm going to struggle to get this out so really I want the pipe to come round across and down into that one same as that one when it comes and so that I can just uh, lift the barrel off and help myself from that which then in turn as that drops the gravity fed system will drag it from uh, other areas I put those in and filled them with water because I wanted to stand on it uh, yeah lots of barrels about uh, I'm now thinking differently these beds are all all square and we left this bed out and we actually extended the this bed down it was a temporary bed because we run out of scaffolding planks but I'm now thinking when I do get some scaffolding planks when we've got some pennies spare uh, I'm going to do a full length uh, bed same width as that so that uh, I've got uh, more room to walk down here this one has got fish poo in that's the old marker pen which I normally use on my uh, potatoes so there's no reason why I can't have that somewhere else and uh, have a the extended bed because I've bought those onions up I'm thinking where am I going to put everything that's my per permanent potato bed at the moment but I'm hoping that I'll be able to have enough barrels keep them level to go all the way up there to the tank that uh, we think's got a hole in that may have sealed itself but in the future this tank is going to hole uh, you can see there what people do they put bolts in washers rubbers but it'd be nice to have all those barrels coming all the way up here depending on the room with the guttering I still want to be able to get down in a fashion I'm just gonna to have to lose my uh, my belly a little bit I'll have to breathe in and I've just noticed that uh, it's uh, bellying out in the middle there as well so I need to pull that in uh, somehow we'll sort it I've got to find and try and find a piece of polycarbonate that will follow the lines of that wonky piece of wood that's the only trouble buying your timber and leaving it out it just tend to uh, warp but I'm taking my time I've got some more little kneely pads these are all like this in rows do you want to have a quick guess what they are they're off a bedstead so these were just at the top of the bedstead unscrewed them I thought I'll have a couple of those for here and a couple of those for home just ideal for kneeling on so thank you to everyone that's uh, given me some input into this uh, double skin polytunnel so there'll be two skins on it plenty of slidey windows if it gets too hot we'll put some more windows in I've got a green cover that Carl sent me um, uh, he, he hasn't posted a video uh, for a while but he sent me a new a newish cover uh, and I'm thinking it might last one or two years but for those one or two years I can cut and hack at it before I actually buy uh, the actual proper sheeting so if you want to drop uh, in the comments uh, the best people to buy uh, the plastic sheeting from any experiences you've had I'd appreciate that and uh, it'll have a single skin this year next year when I've got some pennies spare again I will um, double skin it with the plastic pipe and everything uh, I've just sowed my cucumbers and courgettes and like I say I've bought some more charlotte potatoes and I'm going to start off some uh, like Monge 2 peas I had some off Bill and Val uh, that type of pea and I'll be uh, 
doing some of those shortly. I'm missing the polytunnel at the moment, but hey ho, not to worry. Don't forget thumbs up, thumbs down, leave me a comment, do appreciate it. And uh, none of this would be possible uh, if uh, without uh, your support uh, from the people who watch my videos from start to finish. Take care my friends, happy gardening to you all, till next time, ta for now.